Hey everyone, I'm Chris. I'm Lana. <laughs> and in this tutorial, we're going to be playing How Would You Accompany This? Uh, so this is a kind of a trial thing. Uh, we're going to talk about how I would play guitar and then also some concepts for dancers to be on the lookout for. Uh, for the flamenco dancers, before I forget, uh, Lena has a video of this choreography without the guitar playing, mm -hmm. so you can learn that too. From, it's an yeah. extended version of choreography that you can use in a 12-beat rhythm. It's yeah. for a wajira, but you can use it for an alegria, solea popularias. There you go. Mm -hmm. So uh, check that out. That's going to be in the description below. And then we're just going to about, talk about some options and just a warning, this is not for beginners. This is for people that already have uh, some guitar skill and already have some dance skill. So just, uh, you know, but anybody can enjoy it just thinking about what we're, what we're up to, okay? So here we go. Let's talk about, well, we're actually going to do this first, okay? Let's play it first. And uh, this is going to be, how would you accompany this? This is... Probably pretty close to how I would actually do. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Can you throw that away, please? Okay. one version and I already messed up where I feel like, oh, I could have added something. So let's talk about what I saw and that I could have added that I, I you know, she had shown me this right before and I, I knew that I wanted to do something and I forgot it. So anyway, so the biggest thing, so there's a lesson right there. So the, the biggest thing is that we have to have a foundation of rhythm that is uh, uh, objective. Okay. So Lena and I have been working together long enough that we both ha have trust in each other's sense of where that, that foundation is, okay? The next thing is both of us, and this goes for any kind of musical ensemble group, like if anybody messes up, there's other people going, okay? Then that, that rhythmic foundation is there. Um, so right now, I didn't play something that I wanted to play that I had thought I was going to, but I completely spaced it. Um, but that doesn't stop. Like the, that rhythm train is still going. And so she was going and I like, I, I missed it in my head. I missed it, but you would never have known that. Uh, hopefully you would never have known that. Um, it just keeps on going. You know, I just didn't hit that one spot. So now let's talk about it. It's right after the marking, right before the footwork, right? Um, it's a six. Okay. okay, so if we, this is a 12 beat rhythm, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to do the marking and, and mm -hmm. exact. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. So that was it. It was that six, and that is another option to be able to hit that. But then as far as then we would turn it over to the flamenco dancer's responsibility. All of a sudden I hit that stop on six and a flamenco dancer, you would have to have, your compas would have to be strong enough. Your sense of uh, rhythm would have to be strong enough that you would be able to carry it just like Lena did for that back half of the compas. And then I meet you on uh, beat 12 and we start the next section together, okay? So... The other thing that's difficult is if you are working with just a guitarist and a dancer, you don't have the, the palmas glue, okay? Uh, that is a super important aspect and something that you have to very much get used to if you're, if you're playing with just guitar and dance. And the foundation has to be very, very solid. Next, as far as a guitarist, I play differently when it's just me on guitar and no palmas without any other backup. I play a fuller version of rhythm so that way it covers, a, it lays a stronger foundation when I'm playing. Um, so that's just something that you have to be aware of that your environment changes the way, it should change the way you accompany, okay? 
Uh, and then you're always thinking of, again, that the foundation first, that rhythmic foundation has to be number one, that that is the most important. And I'd rather, like when I'm teaching guitars, I'd say, I'd rather have you play boring and not miss anything, not miss any beats, <laughs> not cut or add any, um, than to try to play something fancy and mess it all up, okay? Um, so the highest priority is the rhythmic integrity, okay? Um, so now I'm going to play, I'm actually going to play something a little bit easier. I'm just going to play straight through it, and so you can hear how I'm, I'm playing. So because uh, Lena does this part for Wajira, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So I'm kind of playing in the Wajira key, in the A major, right? So that's what I'm doing, but you could be doing this in Bulerias or Alegrias or whatever. So um, now I'm going to play it uh, just a little bit more straight, and you'll hear the difference, okay? So here we go. comparatively to how... I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't feel like you were accentuating my uh, choreography, my dancing. There's accents. There's, um, yeah, so it felt very like it was kind of going down instead yeah. of up. Um, so, uh, so there we go. Uh, when I play that straight now, no, so for a beginner flamenco guitarist, that's so important. However, just recognize with other flamenco dancers, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, uh, the guitarist is not listening to me at all, and they're not following me. And so flamenco dancers, uh, the, then I want you to recognize that uh, hopefully the guitarist is doing their absolute best to be able to accompany you at their level. So it's it, in any ensemble, as soon as you put more than one musician together, you have to meet where everybody is. And so what I like to tell people, to tell our students, is that it, we got to put the, the overall, we got to put the musicality first, okay? And so, but everybody comes with different levels of being able to do that. And so, like I said, maintaining that rhythmic integrity, although it could be boring for a flamenco dancer for me to be playing that, you know, sometimes the guitarist just has to do that, and if they're just starting, then that's what I would want them to do. And then eventually, they'll get to the point where they can start breaking the patterns, breaking. So we're in a 12 beat compas, for those of you who might not know that. That means that the cycle of rhythm is 12 beats, for the most part. Right now, it works that way, but it's not always that way, okay? So... Uh, but breaking that and being able to keep track of those cycles and be able to put everything where it needs to go, that's a whole other level of thing. So now I'm gonna, we're going to do this one more time. Okay. We're going to do one more run. Okay. And now I'm just going to show you an example of me leaving too much space, okay? In my opinion, without palmas, okay? If there's no palmas there, it kind of just... It, uh, Lena's going to have a big responsibility here, but just overall and over mus overall musicality, in my opinion, it kind of lets things drop, okay? So we need to keep, as accompanists, we need to keep this driving and keep the energy up in this kind of section. So I'm going to play too little right now, okay? See how that didn't have a lot of oomph to it. It wasn't a really powerful section, and so um, now, granted, as a as somebody who has the the you know like I have the full scope of where this would be in the piece, so I also have more context that you don't have. But hopefully, you recognize within this as a flamenco guitarist or a flamenco dancer that this is a, a pretty big uh, section. It needs to have some uh, pizzazz, some wow factor. Um, and now I'll play it again more closely to how I would actually play it. 
and you can compare and contrast those two. You ready to dance it again? Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. There was a couple things that I would change in there if I had to do that again, um, but that was, hopefully you could really tell a difference in the energy level and how did you feel with that version of court? It felt good. I felt, <laughs> I felt like I was being assisted uh, on my dance journey. <laughs> and so that's what, we, that's what we should strive to do is assist dancers on their dance journey. Guitarists, guitarists, are you listening? So. Um, the next, uh, you know, I, I could talk about all of this for at, at, you know, yeah, for a long, long time. So I, we just wanted to see um, if there was anybody interested in this stuff. If you are interested in, in this stuff, let us know. If you, you know, there's a whole comment section below. So uh, post in there that you would like more of this kind of information. If so, then we can do that. If you have any requests or any questions about flamenco, flamenco dance, flamenco guitar, uh, let us know. We're going to have a bunch of info in the description below, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. We hope you have a great day and that you enjoy, the, enjoy doing this. Yes. Yeah? So thanks so much. Thank have a you. Bye. Day. Make, make sure it you flamenco. subscribe. Yeah, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe and to the Make channel. it flamenco. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>